Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. We are here at a racing track for a very good reason. One of my very good friends and a big fan of Rady's Rides just got himself a brand new vehicle and it's this right here. What is it? This is a 2024 Lexus IS 500 F Sport Performance Blue Vector Edition. But before we get into this one of just 100 and 50 examples being made Lexus vehicles. Let's talk about what's going on here. So yes, you heard correctly. A good friend of mine by the name of Chris, which I'm gonna leave his Instagram handle at the bottom of the page. Right now you should be seeing it. Definitely follow him because he is a true Lexus aficionado. This is now his third Lexus vehicle. And boy, oh boy, did he start in a very big way because his first Lexus vehicle was a Lexus ISF, which we all remember those. He had an LC500, not a bad way to go, and now he has this latest addition to his garage. Now, remember, Lexus, that premium brand of Toyota, has been around since 1989. And what's interesting is that in the day and age of everybody downsizing, downsizing their lineups, getting rid of sedans, downsizing their engines, Lexus is sticking to their guns and making the magic just like they did with Chris's Lexus ISF because underneath the hood of this pretty blue, that ve blue vector of a IS 500 S4 performance is that five liter naturally aspirated V8. Now there's a lot of different ways you could go if you're still looking for a luxury sedan. Not so much when it comes to American brands, but definitely those German Euro brands. So what I wanna find out is, is this the best way to go if you're looking for a new luxury performance sedan? Is this the way to go over the competition? And is it worth tracking one of these special limited editions? Just one of 150 available for model year 2024. Let's go ahead, let's dive into Chris's new baby and find out. Right off the boot, uh, right off the boot, right off the bat, blue vector. It's like, that's all I could get out of my mind. As soon as I saw his car is the word blue because it is a perfect shade of blue. And this is something that's interesting because Lexus being more of that sort of like uh, prim and proper brand over the years when it comes to color palettes, this is actually nice and bright and something totally different. Now they did have a special edition with an orange, but the blue just seems to speak to me and it really focuses on the body lines nicely. Now, when you go Lexus IS 500 F Sport Performance, the IS 500 has such great lines, just the whole IS lineup does. So you're gonna get that signature triple LED beam headlights, those LED daytime running lamps, and it's one of those things that Lexus has really made this a signature part of their design. The great news is, is that with this being an F Sport Performance, the F stands for functional. So you're gonna have those corner air curtains that have some of that functionality. I like the way the gloss black adds just a little bit of pizzazz to the front. It balances nicely with the blue vector color. And then as we come across that large trapezoid shaped grill, this is what it's all about. Spindle grill design. Of course, you're gonna have a forward facing camera full functionality, and then you'll notice on each side of the corners here, you have extra cooling for the brakes, for the massive heat exchanger, all of those goodies, because like I said, we have a five liter naturally aspirated V8. In a day and age where a lot of the other brands have six cylinder turbos, this has that mighty V8. Now, along the bottom, I like the way they kept it clean. They didn't add a bunch of extra splitters and stuff. Everything just blends in nicely to the bottom portion of that trapezoidal grill. And then as we rise up, guess what? You get the bulge. And this is something that Chris was really drawn to is that nice hood unique to the ISF 500, I'm saying it out of order, IS 500F Sport Performance. It's a mouthful, but you get a mouthful of bulge. And I love the way everything just angles over. And from behind the business end, you could see that bulge very clearly, especially if you're looking at, say, an IS 350 or 300. 
Now, as we come around the bend, it's not just about the color of the paint job, it's also about these beautiful wheels. First of all, these are Forge. So we have Forge aluminum wheels, lighter than cast aluminum, and they come in this nice flat black shade of color, really balances nicely with the bright blue. And this is something that is unique to the Blue Vector Edition. Like I said, one of 150 examples. You have those nice large calipers with the Lexus logo. And I like the way they went gloss black because that kind of makes it pop from behind the wheel. And then you're gonna get those two piece rotors. That's gonna cut down on heat and it's gonna actually quicken up the steering, which you're gonna be surprised this being a luxury performance sedan, it's not just about the performance underneath the hood, it's also about the handling as well. You'll notice from the side, that bulge on the hood gives it such a unique look that I think they really checked that box off properly. Now, this is a real wheel drive sedan, so not all wheel drive, real wheel drive, 19 inch wheels in diameter. Up front, we have 235 on the width, 40 series sidewall, and I'll show you what we got going on on the back side. Now, coming down the side of the vehicle, you do get your F Sport badging. That is a very tasteful badge. I like the placement, and it just, it, it's clean. No fake vents, nothing like that. Gloss black on the mirror caps, another touch of this Blue Vector Edition. So I'm glad that they actually blacked everything out. On a lot of other IS500 F Sport performances that I've seen, you know, you get a lot of dark color, but then they go shiny chrome on some of the trim on the mirror caps, and they didn't do that on this particular model, and I'm very happy about that. You do have, of course, your standard size sunroof, so that's another nice touch that a lot of people look for, and then you'll see the black trim around, and this is a nice black chrome. This is actually not gloss black. You could actually see it a little bit more where it flares out that rear quarter window. This is a nice black chrome finish, like the way they flare that design out towards the rear. And I think another thing that really shows motion with this car, even though it's standing still, is if you look at the body line along the door here, coming into the passenger door, and then the second one, it really gives it that sense of motion, even though we are sitting here in a parking lot. Now, at the rear, you are gonna have a limited slip diff, so that's important. And then, of course, you have 265 on the width, so you have a little bit more rubber to meet the road on the rear wheels and tires and just that black color. Let me know if you like that in the comment section. Are you digging the blue vector with the black wheels? I don't know, I think it really just works perfectly. And then of course, as we come around the back side, you're gonna get a gloss black, nice size trunk lid spoiler, nothing too over the top. And then of course, look at the way they did their signature LED lighting, nicely done with your tail lights. And then simple on the badging, IS500, I think I'm gonna have to zonk it because it should have been black. Everything else is black on this car, except for that. So would have been nice if IS500 was blacked out. But as we come down, this is my favorite part, you have that stacked, staggered setup that is unique to Lexus. And this is something even going back to Chris's first Lexus, which he still has, is that ISF, and no, it's not for sale, so don't ask him in the comment section. I guess you can ask him, but uh, he doesn't want to sell it. But maybe, who knows, money talks and ISFs walk. You never know. But I love the way they work that rear bumper area and the exhaust just sets it off. But really, what's gonna set it off is when we pop the hood. So let's pop the hood on this IS500 Sport Performance and see what's powering it. All right, guys, we got that big bulge of a hood up. We do have hood struts to hold it up. And then underneath the hood, this is what I'm talking about. This is probably one of the sexiest engines in the modern era. And what makes it so sexy is not so much the engine cover, which they did trim that back for this car. In the center is that intake plenum. And you could actually see your eight individual runners because guess what? We have that naturally aspirated V8 power. So what are we actually talking about? Five liters of V8 goodness is going to help us produce 472 horsepower, 395 pound-feet of torque. It is mated to an eight-speed automatic transmission, and depending on where you're at, zero to 60 in about 4.1 seconds, quarter mile in 12.6 seconds at 
a top speed of 150 miles an hour. The vehicle weighs around 3,969 pounds, and MPGs, if you really care, 17 in the city, 25 on the highway. But this is the thing. Lexus really shocked the auto industry because remember, you look at the LS500, which is their full-size sedan, they don't have a V8 in that vehicle anymore. It's a twin turbo V6. So this is one of the last man, men standing, so to speak, when it comes to that naturally aspirated V8 engine. But enough talk about it. Let's go ahead, let's fire up Chris's Blue Vector Edition and hear what it sounds like. All right, guys, we are inside Chris's 2024 Lexus IS 500 F Sport Performance Blue Vector Edition. And I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I've been looking for a new performance sedan. I have kids. I got to drive it every day. I don't want something that's going to beat me up. But you know what? When dad wants to have fun, I want to be able to have some freaking fun. And I'm digging this thing. How much is it? Well, remember, this is one of just 150 MSRP on a Lexus ISF 500 F Sport Performance starts at $60,000, and then of course it goes up from there. But let's see if Blue Vector Edition should be the one that you get to the door panels. I like the clean style. Now, of course, people are gonna use that D word, dated, but I think that still it shows the timeless design of what Lexus brings to their interiors. Soft touch material. I love that pattern that they put in the midsection, that aluminum finish around the switch gear, no gloss black, so you don't have to worry about fingerprints. And then look at the way they brought the subtle touches of blue into the interior with that blue stitching on the armrest. Door pocket is a good enough size to where you can get a quarter pounder and a Pepsi very easily in that door pocket. Now going from the door panel to the dash, same thing. The blue stitching, simple, clean. You come on in, you do have your upgraded 10.25 inch infotainment system screen, and it is a touch screen, which is nice. I know a lot of people over the years, that's been something that they've been wanting to see. You do get it with this Lexus IS 500 S Sport Performance. Now, I'll throw it in reverse. Clear resolution. Look how clear the resolution is. 360, you can see Chris over there. He's taking pictures of, our, of us filming his baby. Thanks, Chris, for letting us uh, showcase her to the world. She, uh, she's very special. And then you go right back to where you started. We have the analog clock, that Lexus clock, part of that luxury-esque fit and finish. You do get dual climate controls, which you just slide your finger here, but you do have real buttons as well, knobs, a CD player, so you can listen to Pearl Jam, you can listen to Megadeth, you can listen to Metallica, whatever you got. Mark Levinson sound system with 17 speakers. And then look at what we have. Three stages of heated seats, three stages of ventilated seats, nice aluminum style finish with the leather on the shifter, that's for your eight-speed automatic. You even get the blue stitching in there on the shift boot. We have our different drive modes. You do get the trackpad still. I would prefer just using the screen. If you're gonna use this, do it when you're not moving because it is a little, you know, where you gotta take your focus off of other things. Two cup holders. Chris brought his Lexus key card. Kind of cool to have this. If you get the Blue Vector Edition, it actually has a special uh, leather pouch, that leather condom for the key fob that has blue stitching. You have the soft touch. Hopefully Chris doesn't have anything in there he doesn't want me to show. We have, of course, the felt lining. You do have a 12 volt, and you have two USB-A's and an aux jack, and you have enough room in there. I would say a million dollars. No, not a million dollars cash. This is where Chris keeps his 10 
hundred grand bars in there. That equals a million in chocolate. And then the seats, the new Lux black with the blue stitching, particular to this blue vector edition. I love the bolstering. You do have, of course, your adjustments on the side, full passenger power, full driver power, and the bolstering is great. I also like the way they went with black headliner, and then you have a standard size sunroof. Let me know if it's a zonk in your book, if there's not a panoramic, where there's a zonk in my book on this interior, where's my blue vector seatbelts? That would have been worth an extra five horsepower. So no extra five horsepower because we just have regular black seatbelts. But why don't you come over to the business end? I want to show you behind the special wheel in this very special Lexus. Come on over. All right, guys, business time behind the wheel. I have to admit, I'm a little jealous of Chris. This is where he gets to spend all of his time when he's behind the wheel. You do have that beautiful aluminum sill plate with the F Sport badging. And then they do a great pedal box, aluminum dead pedal, which you can't see, but it's there, aluminum brake pedal and throttle, and then the extra five horsepower is in these all-weather floor mats, for sure, with this Lexus. I like the way it's got the Lexus script there. You do get three memory seat settings, so if you're brave enough to let two of your friends borrow this, which I wouldn't do, but if you're brave enough, they could have their own memory seat settings so they, they don't screw up your seat and get it all out of whack. The controls are easy to get to, especially the lower lumbar. I've been messing around with it, so I'm sure Chris is gonna have to hit that memory button. Hopefully he saved his favorite setting or he's gonna be sitting like I did, reviewing his car. Maybe he wants to do that, I don't know. But I'm six feet tall, plenty of room in here, even with the sunroof. And then the steering wheel, still fantastic. It's a perfect thickness. And the way that they use the two different types of leather, the perforated and the smooth, with the blue stitching. So I have to commend Lexus. They did not just go halfway in with the stitching. They went throughout, even on top of the hood for the gauge cluster. They really went all in, but you do have your flat black switch gear, the F Sport badge, and then you'll notice you have your paddles on the back of the wheel for the eight speed automatic. And this is a power tilting telescoping steering wheel. And then you have that really cool dash. What I love about the dash is first of all, when you go into your different modes, it changes. Especially when you go Sport Plus and that nice white face tack showing your red line very clearly. But watch this magic trick, are you ready? Abracadabra, hocus pocus. You actually can move the whole gauge cluster over that will then bring up other information which is really nice to have. But cool the way the whole bezel moves. That's always been just something that makes my jaw drop every time I hit that button and see it move because no other brand vehicle does that. But while we go ahead, it's not just about being up in the front. That would be selfish. What's great about this being a performance sedan is we got a back seat. Let's check it out because I want to go for a spin in this IS. All right, guys, back seat time. And this is one of those things where, like I said, especially if you have kids, you get to share the driving experience with them. And this is one of those cars where it has tons of personality. Now the backs of the seats, you got the new Lux, black all the way around, and then you got large pockets. And I know Chris, being a realtor, is gonna have all his special realtor magazines in here, all the special stats for what's going on in the housing market and how that's all changing. And then what's nice is for the rear seat passengers, you do get AC vents to keep you a little cool when the throttle gets hammered down. And if you're wondering why is there such a high tunnel area here, it's because of the drive shaft, which this is, remember, rear wheel drive. So power going to the rear wheels. But sitting here, comfortable. I'm not even close to the headliner. And then look, they even brought the blue stitching into the back seats as well. Pulled down the armrest. Nice soft material. And then look at what we have here, our two cup holders. If you're not drinking anything, you can put two Twinkies in there. Not a problem. But why don't we go ahead, let's get in the trunk because I wanna go for a spin in this IS. All right guys, trunk time. The great news about this is that for those of you that are gonna use this as a daily driver, just like Chris does, you don't have to go SUV because you still have usable trunk space. You hit the button real easy, lift it up. You're gonna have almost 12 cubic feet of space. And the nice thing is, is you have a very low cargo floor. 
The rear seats do that 60-40 split, which helps you maximize the room. And I like the way that Chris's has this nice Lexus cargo liner so that you're not gonna rip up the carpet and make everything funky back here. Because like I said, this is just one of 150 that are being produced. But you know what? It's that time. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's hop in this blue vector edition. Say it with me. IS 500 F Sport Performance and go on throttle. All right, guys, we are inside Chris's 2024, that blue vector edition IS. Right away, you just, you really feel like you're sitting in a really special vehicle, but if you're ready, I'm ready. Sport Plus, I'm gonna shift with the paddles. Here we go, on throttle! The sound of that V8. Love the way these ISs handle. It's a very, very balanced platform, but it's the sound. You hear that? That's what those German Euros, your BMW, your Audi, it just it does not have that naturally aspirated V8 goodness. But through the transitions left and right, it feels so planted. And the way that just, the car feels like it's wrapped around you like a glove. You feel really one with the car and it just responds so nicely. Well, let's talk about some other things going on here. Lexus does a fantastic job with the seats. The bolstering is supportive to where it's gonna hold you in, but it's not squeezing you like a vice grip, which is nice. I know we have the, the people out there that right now are probably putting in the comments, well, the, the interior is dated, but like I said, you gotta give it up to Lexus because this interior, to me, still has so many fresh qualities to it and truly has been one of those designs that's lasted the test of time. Getting to everything is well within reach and the fact that you have some real buttons, knobs, and switches where everything is just becoming screens is a very nice, pleasant surprise to have but being behind the wheel the way you can adjust everything to where you are ready you're locked and loaded and you're focused on the task at hand and like i mentioned earlier having that special hood remember the hood to the is 500 is unique to this car with that extra bulge visibility out the back is great nice large mirrors you're going to get all of the lexus safety sensing technology which is important as well especially when you're using this as a daily driver and then what's also great about it is that you could take this go pick your kids up at school chris is going to go and show a house go out on a date it really is that do everything type of vehicle another thing that's really great about this car is when you're inside you hear the good noises and it eliminates the bad noises because of the great insulation and sound deadening and of course the acoustic glass but what we have is that on throttle you ready on throttle here we go nice linear torque delivery and i'm telling you right now that five liter v8 Woohoo! does she hum but as you can see even going into some of this tighter stuff the feedback from the front end of the car it's very very responsive very controlled i think the one other thing that maybe some people might miss in this car is a hud a head-up display but still i think the tack is so nice and large and the way that it changes colors as you go through the rev range really allows you to just kind of take a quick glance down and see where you're at it's got a great gear indicator when you're shifting manually with the paddles and for me that's where this car really shines is taking that shifter lever pulling it over to the driver's side and being able to go through the eight speed automatic because it's very competent and i like the way this car develops power because of it being naturally aspirated it's so linear you don't have to wait for boost build up or any of that stuff it's nice linear and balanced i can't stop going on throttle especially when we have twisty roads are you ready on throttle here we go 
<laughs> Brakes feel awesome. You have 14 inch diameter rotors up front. And then you have a little bit over 12 inch rotors out back. But really it's just the balance. And what's nice is, is that the car doesn't beat you up. It's not one of those cars. That's why I think they didn't call it an ISF is it still has that everyday livability, but boy oh boy, when you wanna let it rip, it really does lay down the numbers. And I think the one number a lot of people don't take into consideration. Yeah, you might look at horsepower figures and, and say, well, this has a little less horsepower than some of the competition or zero to 60 or whatever. Here's the one number a lot of people don't take into consideration, reliability these engines are bulletproof and then at the end of the day the other number is they hold their value very very well compared to the competition so that's another thing to think about when you're going to pull the trigger on that luxury performance sedan what is your end game with it because if you want to be not in the shop and not sitting around in a dealership waiting for them to replace a bunch of components you usually don't have that problem when you go lexus all right guys uh you know just like all other things that are good they must come to an end and we need to get back to where it started but before we do we're going on throttle one more time are you ready because i know chris is ready here we go on throttle listen to that v8 <laughs> I tell you, it just rewards the driver, especially if you know how to do the twisty bits. It makes you feel good. It makes you feel confident. And with this color, you look really good. And don't forget, Lexus is not one of those brands where they don't run what you kind of brung. You go to any IMSA event, you will see in the IMSA WeatherTech series in the GTD class RCFs running and winning on any given weekend. They actually just won the championship last year for 2023. So it's nice to know that, yes, they want to bring performance to the streets, but they're also developing the performance on the racetrack. So that going without being said, we got to get back and wrap this one up. I will see you in a split second. All right, guys, that was an awesome experience to be able to share, not only with you, but definitely to share with Chris and have him riding shotgun. Definitely want to thank him for bringing his new baby out. Remember, his Instagram handle is popping up. Give him a follow because not only is he a huge Lexus fan, but also is a car guy and a realtor, and of course, Car guys and garages go hand in hand like peanut butter and jelly. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Do you think this is the best new luxury performance sedan to go with? One of just 150, this blue vector color, which I'm actually gonna go on record officially. I think I like this color better than Boost Blue on the Civic Type R. Another thing, it's reminding me a little bit of nitrous blue from my old Ford Focus RS. But let me know in the comment section, are you going this Lexus route? Are you going the route of the competition? But if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Raise Rides family. Of course, we need to give it up to Stephen Flood, Stephen Flood Photography, working the camera like a champ, as always. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.